Congratulations, you just bought a new pair of dress shoes. But are they ready to be worn? There's some really bad advice out there on how to prep your shoes for wearing. Oh my goodness. Now I get it, he's trying to create traction on the leather soles to prevent slipping. And that's not the only problem you gotta deal with. New leather shoes, they don't come with a water resistant seal. They're susceptible to water and salt damage. And let's not forget about breaking your shoes in. Failure to do this, you can have blisters all over your feet. Tip number one, wear your shoes around the house. There is no substitute for actually wearing the shoes to truly determine if you have a good fit or not. The issue here is if you wear them outside, you wear them on concrete, you're gonna scratch the sole. And most companies won't take these shoes back. So the way to get around this is to wear your shoes in the house on carpet so you don't damage the sole, but you can very quickly determine how is the fit on these shoes. All right, so if you got a perfect fit, congratulations. But what if you don't have a perfect fit? Now, if it's a minor fit issue, like they're just a little bit too tight, or maybe there's a hot spot over on the heel, you can actually fix some of this using heat, which I'll talk about in a second. But if it's a major concern, like they're a size too large, guess what guys, you can send them right back. Pro tip, did you know different shoe companies use different lasts, AKA the foot mold, for their sizing. So one company's size nine is not going to fit the same as another company's size nine. What I would focus in on is finding a brand whose sizing works for you. Tip number two, use heat to get rid of tightness and hot spots. Now, when it comes to new shoes, they can be very stiff when you first start to wear them. A way to get rid of the stiffness is to leverage the power of heat. Use a hairdryer and run it over the shoes for a few minutes, especially in the hot spot areas. You're looking to warm up the leather and make it more pliable. Putting on your warm leather shoes, you should find that they fit a bit better and as you wear them throughout the day, you're gonna find that they're going to adjust better to your feet. Next up, create traction on your leather soles. So at this point, you're sure you wanna keep the shoes. Now it's time to deal with those slippery leather soles. So why even bother with leather soles? Why would you even want them? Leather soles, gentlemen, are a sign of quality. And historically, they are found on the high-end shoes in the menswear world. Now, the problem with leather soles, as anyone who has ever fallen in them can tell you, whenever you step on water, ice, they give you no traction. Simply rough up the sole. You wanna create a sole that actually is gonna be able to give you traction. Now you don't wanna do this with a knife. No, that damages the sole by cutting too deep into the leather. Instead, just use 80 grit sandpaper and go over the sole, roughing it up. Don't have any sandpaper? Well, let's make this easy. Go out to your sidewalk, then drag your feet around to create little cuts, little grooves that are gonna give you traction. Still too slippery? You want more traction? Well, gents, I got you covered. So just go to your local box store, maybe your local cobbler, or look online for rubber shoe grips. With a little bit of adhesive, these rubber shoe grips attach to the bottom of your shoes and they will give you traction and prevent you from slipping and sliding all over the place. Next up, buy a shoehorn. So do you know that most men put on their dress shoes incorrectly? Yeah, they just shove their foot right in there and they damage the back of the shoe. To prevent it from bending and deforming over time, you need to start using a shoehorn. Now, when you're buying a shoehorn, you're gonna see tons of options out there. Six inch plastic horns, 12 inch metal horns, 24 inch horns made from horn. Which one should you go with? Gentlemen, it doesn't matter. Just simply use a shoehorn and you'll protect the life of your shoes. The next tip, gentlemen, buy backup shoelaces. Shoelaces seem to break at the worst time. Minutes before that interview, minutes before you're about to go on stage and give the presentation of your life. Gents, be prepared. Buy backup laces. Whenever you buy new shoes, what you're looking to do is just make it easy for yourself in the future. Whenever you've got one lace that breaks, you only have to replace that one, not worry about actually matching them up because they're made from the same manufacturer. Next on the list, buy cedar shoe trees. This is the one piece of advice that most people ignore. And unfortunately, it leads to the premature death of their shoes. You see, your brand new dress shoes, they may look beautiful now, but they're not gonna stay that way if you don't take care of them. Cedar shoe trees are amazing because they help your dress shoes to maintain their natural look when you don't wear them. You see, when you wear dress shoes, you sweat in them. You 
reshape them whenever you bend them again and again. Shoe trees go in there and they maintain the shape and they prevent creases from appearing. Gents, when you're not wearing your leather dress shoes and within hours of taking them off, you want to store them with cedar shoe trees. They're going to maintain the shape, maintain the look, maintain your investment. Apply leather conditioner. So leather conditioner is a lotion that penetrates the leather and can help to make it softer. This is great, by the way, if you're dealing with fit issues. If the shoes are a little bit too tight, there's some hot spots. Guess what? You can use a little bit of leather conditioner to make the leather more malleable. Now, throughout the life of your shoes, you do want to apply leather conditioner at least once a season. Why? Well, if you live in a dry environment, let's say the desert, you're going to find that your leather can become brittle. It can become too dry and crack unless you put on a leather conditioner. Or if you live in a wet area, oftentimes the water will penetrate and then leave. And when it leaves, it pulls out a bit extra moisture and this can lead to water damage. Leather conditioner will go through and actually prevent that. Next up, apply a wax polish. Applying a wax polish to your shoes kills two birds with one stone. First, it gives your shoes that lovely shine that catches people's eyes and gets you tons of compliments. Second, that thin layer of wax creates a protective layer. When you get scuffs and scrapes, it's going to be the wax that is scuffed and scraped. And it's going to provide a thin layer of water resistance. Now, when it comes to matching the wax color with your shoes, try to get them as close as possible. If you can't find anything that works, then go with a neutral wax. A neutral wax is still going to provide a bit of a shine and most importantly, the protection. Next, apply a waterproofing spray. Now, that layer of wax does provide some protection. But gents, if you've got light colored shoes, if you're running through the slush and snow, no, you want more protection. What you want to use here, gents, is a silicone-based waterproofing spray. Now, before spraying it all over your shoes, especially light-colored footwear, make sure to test it on the tongue to see if it darkens the shoes. After the test, using light strokes, you want to go ahead and spray the entire shoe. Let the shoe sit for a couple hours and then apply a second coat. You've now got a hydrophobic layer all over your shoes to repel moisture. Now, when you buy dress shoes, they already come pre-laced. Gents, what we're looking to do, what we're looking to bring in here is bar lacing. This lacing style creates a very sleek, streamlined, and dressy look that works perfectly. Gents, check out this video where I show you how to lace your shoes.